the Kawhi Paul George era of the LA Clippers might just be over after this playoff series where they lost in five games, granted to a good team, but both Kawhi and Paul George were injured for most of the time and they were injured for most of the regular season as well. I don't think that the Clippers want to stay with them. I'm going to be breaking down what the Clippers can do to trade them away and ultimately why this didn't work. I think one of the reasons that didn't work is because both of them are extremely, extremely injury prone. And I, I know that some teams have worked like that before, like, I don't know, the 2017-18 the Warriors, 2018-19 Warriors, but apart from that, no team has really been good with both of their stars, or at least both of their good players, being extremely injury prone. And when they're on the court, they're a great team. But Kawhi and Paul George are just never on the court together. So what did they do to try salvage the situation? <laughs> That's right, they signed Russell Westbrook. And Russell Westbrook, he's not injury prone, but he's not consistent either. Which basically meant that the Clippers have no good consistent players. And that would ultimately lead to their demise, because Kawhi and Paul George didn't play, and Russell Westbrook, he just sucked in the playoffs. So I think that they're going to be trading probably Paul George away. Maybe they'll re-sign Russell Westbrook and trade him away too. But let me tell you this, they don't want both Kawhi and Paul George. They do not want to run it back. And I'm going to look at some possible trade offers for Paul George and even Kawhi. So one possible trade for Paul George is sending him to the Minnesota Timberwolves for Carl Anthony Towns. And this obviously won't be a straight up trade because I would argue that Cat is a bit better than Paul George at the moment. But I mean, you add a few role players, maybe a few picks. And I mean, Cat is now on the Clippers. And how would this look for the Clippers? This would actually look really good because the Clippers, they need some shooting considering they don't have any really good shooters and Cat would add that. He would also add some height and he might not be the best defender, but a big body is a big body that they could just throw on the court. Another possible trade for, for Paul George is getting Trey Young and honestly, I don't think that the Clippers will want to do this because Trey Young really requires a whole team set around him, but if they do do this, it's honestly good for both sides. The Hawks would be receiving Paul George and maybe like a pick or two. And then the Clippers would be receiving Trey Young and probably someone like AJ Griffin, a good young role player, right? And I like this for the Clippers, but I don't think that they would like this because in order to have Trae Young on your team, your roster needs to be built around Trae Young. They want to build this roster around Kawhi. So I don't think this one will happen. But one that I do think will happen is Emmanuel Quickly and a ton and ton of picks. Like, Emmanuel Quickly is an okay player. He has potential to be a superstar. But is he Paul George level? No, he's not even close. He is not close at all. So maybe like Emmanuel quickly. Uh, I don't know. The, the Knicks don't have a lot of great players. Evan Fournier to get the contracts to match. And like seven first round picks or something. I'm not sure if the Clippers will agree to that. Because they want to win now with Kawhi. So that one might be off the table too. And that brings me to my next point. Which is that Paul George might have a lot of value in the trade market. But... He's just a really weird player and no one knows exactly what his value is because he's injured so much, right? So I honestly don't know what will happen. I ultimately think that the Clippers will be trading one of their stars and if they do trade one of the stars, maybe they should just blow it all up. But I'm, I'm really not sure what the Clippers will do. This has been a disaster for them and the quicker they move away from Kawhi and Paul George, the better.